Hello and welcome to Dungeons of Adara. This is a roguelike action RPG dungeon crawler featuring procedurally generated levels where you will battle through hordes of monsters to restore Adara to its former glory. Cream is currently, as you might see, in early access. And this is also a sponsored video. Now, without any further ado, let's jump into it. I haven't tried this at all yet. I wanted this because it's a roguelike, um, or roguelite, I suppose. One of my first attempt to be on camera. So let's jump into it. An empty slot. We have a faction to choose from, except we don't, because uh, these ones will unlock in later chapters, it looks like. We have, okay, so faction appearance and clothes to customize our character a little bit. So we're going to be playing as the Arbidum. We have 5% health regen bonus, 5% chance to successfully harv pl harvest plants, 5% experience bonus. And then we have some, some tidbits. A name. Oof. Oof, I'm just gonna have to go with Donkey for now, I think. Our appearance, I wanna quickly go through these. I don't wanna spend too much time on this, but I do wanna have a look at what we can look like here. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go with that one. Our face. Uh, sure, I'll just take the, the basic one. Orange! Oh, that's a very orange. Let's not do that. Let's just go for a, a darker. Eh, that's alright. And then we got hair, actually, just do it like this. Oh, look at that. That is a magnificent hairdo right there. <laughs> um, got a decent bit of options here for a, uh, a single player game. It's not too bad. Oh, I like that. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Can I not change my disgusting beard? Oh, here we go. Yes, I can scroll down. Um, oh, I don't want no beard. It's a shame that it goes from that one to that one. Ah, screw it. Let's just stick with that. Let's go for a more normalized color, though. That looks good. There we go. All right, and then we have our clothes. We have a buckler as well, it looks like. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Oh, you can go very posh with this. Holy shit, I was not expecting it. After seeing this, I was not expecting this. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that, why not? We're gonna look super posh. There's the no woman on a quest. Oof, which, f okay, you know what? I look like a clown, let's do it. Create, that's us right there, that's Donkey. The nobleman, kind of. Long has the continent of Adira been ruled by the Oswari Empire, keeping peace among the numerous factions of peoples who live within their boundaries, with fair leadership and representation. The peace did not last, however, as the line of emperors became corrupt with greed and power, and as they began to launch campaign after campaign to claim even more land and riches. Their demand on their subjects grew ever more, until they'd reached a breaking point. A rebellion was born, as the factions of the North banded together to march into the heartland of the Empire, to put a stop to it. The hard-fought rebellion was broken at the foot of Norak, the Empire's prized capital. But with the Oswari spread so thin, they were able to broker a truce. The Oswaris granted them their independence in return for an end to the fighting. But as the years passed, and the faction's anger and pain against the Oswaris were forgotten, old rivalries began to surface between the Arbinum State, the Sufrak clans, and the Wakara bands, breaking the trust between the factions of Adira. This does not go unnoticed by the Oswari Empire, whose ever-aggressive emperor looks upon the free lands of Adira with hungry eyes. You and your family lived a simple life within the Arbidum state as farmers, making a living bringing crops to market every year, nothing out of the ordinary happening until two years ago, with the arrival of a mysterious man who stumbled onto your farm, barely clinging to his life. He was injured and on the verge of death, and your parents kind-hearted folk, tended to his wounds, and allowed him to work on the farm while he slowly recovered. You came to know this man as Scovis, and grew quite fond of him, as he taught you simple sword-fighting techniques, and enchanted you with his tales of adventure all over the world. Scovis was always talking about the aggression of the Oswari Empire, 
but your parents did not want to hear it. Nothing could make them leave their home. Even when rumors of Sufrak raiding parties started, they believed that nothing would ever happen to their village and way of life. Unbeknownst to anyone, the Oswari Empire is on the march, looking to reclaim their ancient land. Your town just happens to be one of the first victims of a merciless Oswari campaign of revenge. Kid. Hey, oh, kid. shit. Come on, kid. You've got to get up. You okay? We need to see if anyone is still alive and what we can salvage. Take this. I took it from one of those Oswari dogs. All right. Uh, what happened here? The Oswari army invaded, kid. Done a fine job of making sure hardly anything was left. They're the huge empire to the south, who we ain't on friendly terms with. Right. Where are you going? I'm gonna go check the field to see if anyone else survived. How do I use this? Nothing to it, kiddo. Either swing or thrust. Whatever feels natural to you. You want me to kill? Sorry to ruin your interpretation of what is right and just, but this is what war really is. Either you defend yourself and kill those who want you dead, or join those you see laying on the ground. I'm sorry this happened, but we have to clear the town of Oswari soldiers, or we will be next. Search the town for survivors and try not to die. Got it. Oh shit. Oh, look at me. Look at that posh man. Pretty cool. Um, I should of course mention, I always forget to mention this early on, there is a uh, link in the description uh, if you would like to try this game yourself. Uh, moving and then sh pressing shift to run. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Okay. We have a weapon and a shield. Which, there we go. So that's how you block. Might expect that. Slash, can we kill this guy? Sorry, I probably shouldn't try that. We got a health potion on G and an F is... Uh, I think... What is F? Oh, shield bash. Gotcha. Sounds good to me. Alright. Search the time for survivors. Well, that guy is dead. From the looks of things. As is that one right there. It's gonna tell me how to swing. There we go. Fuck yeah. Got wrecked barrels. Or crates. I can't remember what they were. It was only two seconds ago. I guess they were barrels from judge the looks of like there's barrels over here. Uh, we got heavy attack as well, so there we go. Okay, probably not necessary against these things. Oh, is there a weapon? A sharp claymore of the Reaper. Shit, how do I get in my inventory? Um, this does almost double the damage, slightly lower attack speed, more block. And it has life steal, bonus damage, mana steal, and stamina regen. That sounds really good. I don't have my shield anymore, but I feel like it's pretty good anyway. So this is 100% block, right? So okay, so I get it. So we block with this thing. We block 65% of the damage. We still take 35% of this thing. It blocks 100%. So yeah, that's pretty good. But I do quite like the idea of a two-handed sword. Oh, that's definitely slower. I want all the loot. Give it to me, a lockpick, alright? You have a chest, oh, right. Immediately use a lockpick, maybe? A letter cap of the Reaper, or Reaper. So that's probably more uh, lifesteal than I'm guessing. Uh, a Founder's Scout, oh, because we have early access, I guess. That's pretty sweet. It's better than nothing. Oh, wow, we... Oh, man, this is pretty sweet. Um, what's the other thing we picked up, though? Wait, how... Is there an all thing? Crafting reagent... Necklace, legs, hands. Is it? Oh, did it automatically equip? Yes, it did. Okay, so weapon damage. Uh, weapon lightning damage. Health regen bonus. Weapon cold damage. Then what's the... Um, ah, the 0.5 uh, lifesteal. Okay, gotcha. So it automatically equipped. Now I do wonder what the... Uh, there you go. If you just on, okay, cool. We've got talents as well. We haven't got any of those yet. So we need to level up first. Boons, journal, stats, spells. Ah, so yeah, and then... Okay, that's a spell. This is pretty cool. Uh, to set hotkey, hover over spell and press 1 to 7. I don't think I have any uh, anything to say yet. I'm supposed to be going that way. Oh, the swing on that. It's pretty big. The <laughs> money flying all over the place. All right. Not a purple. Chainmail of sorcery. That's probably worth checking out as well. We're getting loot up the wazoo over here. We get plus 1 magic damage and free armor or 10 health, 10 stamina, 10 mana. I don't know how much health we have right now. Is there a way to... I'm sure there's a way to check that. 
Uh, not there, though. I don't know. We'll figure it out along the way, I'm sure. Mess up this barrel right here. Didn't see it coming. Okay, I'm guessing- I, I guess I'm supposed to just actually climb over this. I didn't really think about that. I want to murder someone. Oh, he did it. Oh. oh shit, that guy wants to murder me. Pick up all the items. I don't know what I just picked up. Get fucked, son! Oh! Absolutely wrecked. Did you see that dodge, though? It wasn't even an actual- do oh shit, there's a guy right there. Um, right, we got a dagger. Does free damage. How much is this? 28. Okay, that's pretty shit. Uh, oof, 9 armor. But we do lose that 10 health, 10 stamina, 10 mana. 9 armor seems pretty good, but then again, it's early on. Maybe 9 mana isn't all that much. We can go up here as well. Or can we? Oops, definitely should attack it. I guess maybe we can't climb that. There's more barrels up here. Oh, can I not get back up? There we go. I want to smash these. Smash him, good. Um, okay, right, well, let's go kill the other guy, I guess. <laughs> the movement's pretty sweet. Oi, you little dickhead. I can, oh, I can lock onto him as well. God, there's more. Get fucking ruined. Oh shit, he's dropped a claymore as well. Okay, this guy's got a shield. I don't know if I like the lock on, actually. So dodging, like that, okay. Yeah, that's just straight up blocking everything. Ah! Oh! Oh, okay, so I interrupted him basically, which like staggered him backwards. That's good. Right, let's see this weapon here that we just got. A Flamberers of the Mage Slayer. Okay, that's less damage, mana steal, life steal. Okay, I'm alright. I'm good with what I've got right now for now, I think. Okay, so there's more dead people here with an axe they didn't even take out yet. Means he was unarmed when he was slaughtered. More money, I'm getting rich over here. Can I slash the door? Nope, okay. We move on. We do not stop till nightfall. Uh, to, to what? Till nightfall, even. Hello. Oh shit, I heard the one to the right as well, I think. I should change the. Uh... Oh my god. The dodge key, because it's right now it's shift space, which is very annoying. Oh, yes! Oh, no! Even. Oh, I'm not paying attention to my stamina, it turns out. I was very low on stamina. Let's do a cheeky health potion, I think. That was pretty cool, but it didn't work, unfortunately. Oh, my god. Oh! Jesus. He's dead! Jesus, leave him alone. Alright. Okay. Um, that was pretty shit. We do have some health regen and we have lifesteal as well, but I'm guessing we only heal up to, like, the top of, like, each of those bars, basically. But yeah, let me quickly change, um, there's quite a few of these settings. I'm gonna change the, uh, dodge to control, because right now it's actually really annoying to dodge when you have to press, like, backwards and shift and space. Things get confusing. Okay, that was pretty painful. I should probably try a heavy attack at some point as well. Oh, barrels. Love me, love me some barrels. Wait, can I destroy crates too? Guess not. What's in here? There's a symbol above. I'm not sure if that has any kind of meaning. Fuck this barrel. I like how the money just kind of flies all over the place. We are getting rich real quick. Oh, there's another guy right there. Oi, you little bitch. Oh, no, we do heal above that. That's pretty good. Oh, shit! Oh my god, the animations. <laughs> what was that? I didn't even realize that was a special attack. I just jumped at him because I tried to dodge and I pressed the wrong button like an idiot. Can I go up here? This door's closed. Can you open doors? Smash him? No? Okay. I tried that twice now, so I'm guessing the answer is still no. Is that another enemy? No, that's the person I'm supposed to talk to, I guess guessing. Let's check in for loot. Can I smash these things? Nope. Okay. All right, well, hello. Oi, thanks. Glad you came along. Don't think I would have survived if you didn't. Uh, what are you still doing here? When I heard the town was under attack, I ran here to pack up all my merchandise and a soldier on a mounted horse kicked me cart on top of me. My god. 
My leg has been hurt bad, but I got myself some potions that will help. I'll give you one. Might help while you explore around here. Thanks, because I already used one. No way! You wouldn't have anything to buy. Oh, I should be. Pretty sure if anything happens, you will hear the gut-wrenching screams a mile away. Think you can handle the rest of the troops in town by yourself? Absolutely. Good luck. Oh, wow. That was not a... <laughs> She's... She did not believe me. <laughs> Good luck. Alright, I gotta find my parents. First, I got some barrels to smash. This is clearly more important than finding my parents. You know how it is. Barrels require smashing a lockpick. And a feathered cap of the snake. And I saw some more money hiding over there. Let's have a look. Oh, we cannot, I can't equip these yet. These are level 3. Am I level 2? Somehow? No, I'm level 1. Because this thing is level 2 as well as I level 2. I don't know what that means. This is I level 3 and I'm still using it. So why can't I? Oh, it's soulbound. Right. Okay, so there must be some other reason for that. Okay, gotcha. Understood. There's some barrels up here. I don't know if these are yours, lady, but... Uh... I'm sorry, they hold gold. For some reason, people have been storing their gold in barrels all over time, and I aim to get all of it. Uh, one thing I can always also do, by the way, which is uh, worth considering, is up the field of view. I do wonder how that's going to look. Might be a bit far. Eh, it's alright. Maybe a little... Oh, a purple weapon. A deadly bastard sword of the mage slayer. They really like slaying mages. I think it's actually a bit, a bit too high. Let's turn that down. I'll go down to 100. I do want it a little bit higher than what it was. Get me out of here. Yeah, that's alright. Alright, let's have a look at that purple weapon. Oof, that's ter- oh wait, that's a one-handed sword. 108% attack speed, that's pretty baller. Also, a lot less stamina cost. Um, it does half the damage, but it does allow me to use a shield, and it attacks quite fast, which is probably quite useful. You know what, you should try this out. Let's try that out. I want to try different weapons in this. Definitely helpful for slaying uh, all these filthy barrels around town. Speeds things along quite a bit. Armored Bracers of the Fool! So many... Oh, we equip those automatically? Yep. Minus one magic damage. Wait, why would I... Can I... Oh, am I being attacked? Holy shit, there's a guy over here. Wait, I was over here just now. Let's try to block. Uh, or not. Let's dodge him. Oh, that, I like this weapon, it's so fast. Hecka fast. Maybe he uh, came from over here. I'm definitely going the wrong way. I may have to go this way at some point anyway, and I'm just clearing it out now. Is he turned around? Absolutely wrecked, my guy. I like fast weapons so far. Man, I tried to block it, and it just doesn't even work. Okay, so it's like combos as well, because the final attack does more damage than the other ones. Okay, so far so good. This weapon's absolutely mincing these people. We'll probably get into more trouble once we come across people with shields, though. Alright, did I explore everything around here? Maybe I shouldn't. Okay, he's gonna follow me, that's fine. I'm stuck behind a little branch. Um, yeah, normally, I play, I play games like this, where I just, like, go... And make sure I loot every single fucking thing in the world. It's probably not the right way to do when I'm trying to showcase a game, but... There, that's the block. Um, but yeah, I, uh, I just I can't stop myself from looting everything. Give me everything. Ring of the Pathfinder. 1% uh, magic find and a 0 0.01 crit multiplier. Great stuff. That's very good. So can I, what can I, oh I can equip it, but it's soul bound, so then I guess I, I can't sell it? I don't know what that means, either way it looks fucking phenomenal, so I'm gonna wear that shit. Uh, although I, I lose an armor and life, no I definitely want that, <laughs> it's not worth it. Um, anything else I should consider <clears throat> equipping? Maybe the soul bound, bound means something else. Also I can put things on my hotbar. I guess. Man, this thing is fu this thing is legendary, by the way. Or, well, it's orange, which I'm guessing is even rarer than epic. That's crazy. I didn't realize I picked... That was like the first thing I, I looted. <laughs> so, a legendary sword. What the hell? Uh, oh, some more barrels. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, it's robe of sorcery. Probably not what we need. I'm not gonna bother checking that one. Two more barrels. Robes of endurance. 
could be good, but again, I feel like our chest piece is really good. Stamina regen, yeah. Let's just keep what we have right now. Uh-oh, is there falling damage? Oh, thank fuck there isn't. <laughs> that was a pretty big leap. Give me everything. What's this? Minor strength potion? Sounds good to me. Anything down here? More barrels? Heck yeah. Don't mind if I do. Minor hardening. Can I destroy these? Nope. Baskets. So that goes back to where she was, I think. Right, let's actually do the mission. And find my parents. But first, gotta destroy some barrels. Find the barrels. I see loads of barrels over there. And, and oh fuck, there's like, oh shit, there's loads of them. Oh my god, four enemies. I may have some trouble here. Okay, they're gonna come around this way, so I, I'm gonna have a way to escape, I think. I wish I had a bow and arrow right now. So they're gonna come from over there, I think. Or is that lady gonna get murdered? Wait, did they, could, did they turn back? Yes, they did. Right, where is that lady? She was, oh, she's right there, okay. Maybe I should just come from here. Let's see if I can grab one at a time. Oh, well that guy has spotted me. The other ones are turning around, so I guess that's good. Fuck, I don't want to be stuck in this. I don't need to be locked on. Get staggered, bitch! Oh, he's bleeding. Oh, come on. I couldn't... Ah! There we go. That was ridiculously difficult. A morning star of the Tempest. Uh, one lower damage, slightly lower attack speed, but weapon, lightning damage, and armor. Um, fuck it, let's try it out. It's not terrible. Oi, you. I would like to murder- oh, this big fucking two-handed guy is coming over. Well, well. Got a journal as well. I think I already knew about that, to be honest. Okay, cool. Very, very good to know. Let's try locking on. <laughs> We both know a two-handed weapon sucks because it's super slow. Get wrecked, bitch. I think I li like the sword better, but this is okay. There's other benefits this thing has. I think I can take on two guys at once. Nice morning star you have there, friend. Oh, you can... St okay, so the final attack of this, the combo stuns him. That's pretty baller. There's another guy over there, but I'm so confident I'm just going to destroy some barrels. Wait. What was that? It was a purple item. It it disappeared, it like flew away or something. Or wait, was the purple just my weapon? The swing of my weapon is purple as well. Oh, hello. Ooh, an electric staff of the Reaper. A Warhammer of the Fool. Well, the Fool is always bad, I think. Oh no, it's not. This one isn't. Uh, but yeah, staff. Lower attack speed, 27 damage. Ma magic attack damage, magic damage, 17. Okay, I want to try this. this is, is this actually... No, it's just a melee weapon. But I'm guessing if once we get spells, this thing will make my spells better. How do I actually put... Because I have things that I could put on my bar. Like this. How do I do that, though? Oh, that's not... Uh, that's maybe dropping them or something. I don't want to click it, because then it probably just uses it straight up. I can't drag it. There must be a way to... To do that, but I'm not sure how, and I don't want to accidentally use. Well, you know what? Let's just click it. Yep, that definitely uses it. Okay, there must be a way to put them on there. I just gotta find out how. I think it actually told me at some point, but. All right, I'm, I use the staff now, so. You're fucking wrecked. Oh my god, the damage though. That's pretty good. Claymore of the Mage Slayer, again. I think I don't really want to use this uh, two handed though, but I might try this thing with the shield. Try a good old Warhammer of the Fool. Uh, okay, so my parents are that way. Still going the right way. But I've got some barrels to slaughter. My range was a little uh, lower than I expected there. Alright. We continue onwards. Okay, stop approaching now. That's enough. That's enough sprinting. What's this? I'm being attacked. Plate Mail the Reaper. Oh, fuck. This guy's like full on... Heavy armor and shit. Oh no, he's got a friend as well. Quickly murder him. I would like some uh, stamina back. Oh, fuck, I missed the bridge. Okay, if I want my stamina back, I probably shouldn't... Shouldn't uh, keep blocking, because I'm pretty... Yeah, that slows it down. Dark Souls style. Got it. Okay. Uh, yeah, those guys were not as scary as I thought they were. 
thought their armor would mean that they were more terrifying foes, but apparently I was wrong. Oh, four barrels! Oh! All in one. Magnificent. And lightning ring of the of endurance. We got that chest piece though, I wanna have a look at that. Um, okay, so that party looks really cool. Oh, that does look really cool, but it's just not as good as what we have. Our founder's code is really, really solid. Um, Two-handed weapon. I'm good. I'm Gucci. Somebody, man, the amount of gear you pick up in this is awesome. Awesome. Is this a barrel? It was a barrel. Had some gold in it. I must be pretty fucking rich at this point. This <laughs> end of the world is the best thing that could have happened to me. Oh god. Okay. I'm sorry, kid. Oh, these are my parents. Rip. Come on and get a hold of yourself. I know you just lost your folks, but we need to regroup. There could be more of those Oswari dogs around. Able to pick yourself up and dust yourself off? <laughs> come on, you little bitch. I know your parents are dead right there. You just only found out 20 seconds ago. But come on, man. We got shit to do. I can't just leave my parents here. You're right, Scovis. You can worry about this now. Can't worry about this now. Leave me alone, Scovis. Can't you see my parents are dead? I mean, this is the most reasonable response, but I'd just be, you know, I can't just leave them here. I'm not sure what to tell you. Decide what you want to do quickly, and let's keep going. Could burn the remains and send them off on your parents after this ordeal has passed. Blaze of glory, or I think we should bury them. They would like that. Let's do that. Sure thing, kid. Let's get them from under this rubble, and we will bury them once we know the area is cleared. Let's go. Oh, is he going to be with me? Kill the raid leader. Push back the remnants of the Aswari invaders. That's over there. I'm guessing that's still this way down. I saw so many in the background just now as well. Those guys. I'm gonna go this way first. Oh, he is with me as well. That's cool. Alright, I'm gonna go murder people over here first. There's a big old chest over there as well. I do love me some chests. Oh, I thought that was him. You take the one on the right, I'll take the one on the left. Or the other way around. Or I'll take both of them and you take nothing. How about that? A little bit of health? Oh, you get the fucking kill? I got that one, friends. Don't worry about it. Oh my god, the kill animations. You just don't take my fucking loot. Um, our Arbidum plate mail, the mage slate. They love slaying mages so much. Amethyst shard. Okay. We have Gladius of the Pathfinder, Deadly Staff of the Tempest. I want to have a look at that Gladius. Okay. That was all that was over here, it looks like. Let's have a look at the Gladius. We have. Oh, that's just like a. It's a. It's a oh, hello. It's a. Um, a dagger. Mana steel, magic damage, bonus XP. Ooh, I like bonus XP. But then again, experience seems to be coming in pretty slow. And it's only 0.02%. So that's not, not a whole lot, to be honest. 0 0.02. Not really gonna make a dent in that experience, I think. Oh shit, that's a lot of dudes again. This, this guy spotted me already. Oh fuck, he's going for it. Oh, team up on him like they did to me. Yes, yeah, smack him! There we go. Teamwork. You and me, Scovis. What was your name again? Eh, yeah, whatever. Oi, you. Dickhead. No, don't charge in there. Wait, I should do, like, heavy attacks. That works. Some helmet of something. Another chest over there. I like it. Ow! Scovis, that was your fault. You knocked him away from me. How could you do this to me? You betrayed me. Everything I stand for. Frozen robe of the mage slayer. Okay, I want to have a look. Actually, well, let's open this chest first and then have a look. We yeah, have burning amulet. Amulet. <laughs> okay. Two amulets of the scholar. One of them is burning, the other one is not. 0.01% bonus XP. It can be even less and one bonus damage. The other thing we currently have is life steal weapon fire damage bonus XP as well. So yeah, the burning amulet is definitely better. The frozen rope. I'm good. Bonus damage, health regen over life steal, and one extra armor. Uh, yeah, I'll take that because it still gives me some kind of health anyway, and it looks a little bit cooler. All right, I want to switch weapon. I think this warhammer is all right, but I feel like maybe we can do better. Wait, what sword was I using before? The one-handed sword. I was using the mace, but before that, I was using a one-handed sword. I don't remember which one it was. Was it this one? The deadly? Yeah, it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, never mind. I'll stick to this uh, weapon we currently got. I could go two-handed, but I actually quite like one and then uh, shield a little bit more right now. Having that 100% block chance is pretty good. Oh, hello. 
Oh, hello. Good thing we've got you, Scovas. I don't know if that's your name, but it might be. There's two people wanting him over there, though. I got you. I oh, you got your back, brother. Oh, actually, he's got a health bar, I just realized, on the bottom left there. But he's regaining health as well. Good. Thank fuck for health regeneration. Let me get up here and slaughter these barrels first. While he's charging in already. Yes! Yes! Get wrecked, bitch! Wait, what? You're not allowed to do that. Oh, this guy's healing. Boy, you can't heal your team. Oh man, he's got like loads of health. This is not the great leader, is it? <laughs> You're not allowed to do that, dude. This is an Estus Flask. Oh shit, I'm out of stamina. Ooh, Warhammer the Phoenix. That could be good. No, stop charging. I want to check that Warhammer first. Son of a bitch. I gotta help him out now. Get fucked. Oh, there's the animation again. Brilliant. I like how he just folds his armor afterwards. Like, yeah, just... Oh, that's insane! It gives me... It's the same attack speed, but seven more damage. Two uh, two weapon fire damage, two mana, two stamina. Whoops, some magic. Okay, that's pretty baller. That's a lovely Warhammer. Alright, let me get these real quick. Boom. Um... Wait, where are we going? Are we going this way? Maybe. I want to get all the loot first, so I guess we'll go this way first. Maybe that also leads there, I'm not sure. Plated leggings of the Mage Slayer. Man, so much Mage Slaying going on in this game. Um, lightning weapon damage. Oh, oops. Uh, health regen bonus and weapon cold damage. Mana steel health. Yeah, I've got like what I've currently got more, to be honest. Let's keep going this way. I want to check this shit out. Wait, is that... Yeah, I think that's where we have to go. Ooh, there's a chest over here first. Ooh. Jagged Chainmail, the Mage Slayer, and Claymore of the Tempest. I'm over encumbered! Shit! Um... Guess we'll have to drop some... I probably should drop the, uh... Oh, there's a weight attached to them as well. Okay, hold on. Let me pick up the... The rarer items first, because I imagine they're worth more. Um, so that drops some... Oh, there's only six pounds. Oh yeah, so this is ten pounds. The, uh, these are the heavy items right here. The chest pieces. Six pounds. Jagged chainmail of the mage slayer. God, all the mage slaying, man. Another relatively heavy chest piece. This is only one pound. I mean, I don't know how what much money is in this game either. It's crazy that these two-handed swords are actually only six. Well, actually, no, it's pretty realistic, I suppose. The staffs aren't very heavy either, nor are these things. I don't think I have any more chest pieces to drop. I think I'm okay now, but we're probably going to be over encumbered again soon. But yeah, let me first, before we go that way, let me run this way. Because there, I think, was actually an entrance over here as well. I want to see where this leads. Or is this where we came from? No, I definitely don't remember this. What the? Oh, sh oh fuck. There's two guys over there. Oh my god, the damage on this thing. Get fucking ruined. 45. Holy shit, dude. Ah, another chest. See, this is what we do it for. To over-encumber myself some more. Amulet of the Enchanter, Sturdy Longsword. Stur longsword? Hold on, that's worth checking out. One hand, no, never mind. 14 damage, I'm sorry. Uh, I feel like this might be the... Uh, this, Yeah, I think we need, we need to go back inside, destroy him, and then we probably leave from here. Interestingly, we found this place first, though. I want to do another massive fucking leap. Alright, you with me, Scovis? I don't know if that's his name, but I'm just going to assume it is. There he is, the raid leader. Armored Knight Captain. What if I just beat you up real quick? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Ah, help. Scovis. Why aren't you doing anything? Fucking bottom mash him. I not die yet. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, let's hold off. Scovis, watch out. I got you, man. Oh, shit. Upon the death of a boss, something. 
Each level up, you get a talent point to spend to make your character even more powerful. Open your talent menu to assign your points. Additional spell trees can be unlocked in town. Oh, it's just like telling me. Okay. Chain gloves. Thanks, mate. Right, well, let's have a look. Talents. So, my god. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Right, so first of all, this is common shit. Um, health, 10 mana. Simple potions, crafting, uncommon weapons, crafting. Collecting reagents, increasing mana regeneration. Increase your stamina. So I'm guessing this stuff is maybe what carries over between runs. Because it is, of course, a, uh, a roguelite. Cleave skill. Spin your weapon and spin around at 360 degrees, dealing 150% of weapon damage to everyone around you requires one other weapon. That's pretty good. Uh, while this is active, you've increased armor. That sounds pretty useful as well. Fire mage. Oh my god, this is pretty cool. A f an orb of raging fire at your enemies. Require wonder staff. Magic orbs that light up the surrounding area. Damn. Instantly heal yourself and your companions for 25%, a 25 plus 100% of your magic damage. Holy crap, dude. That seems really good. Whenever you slay an enemy, you enter into blood fuss. Blood loss for a limited amount of time, increasing your attack speed damage from 1% for 8 seconds effect stacks. Enter into a frenzied spin, damaging all, requires a 2 minute weapon to go. Okay. Inspire yourself and enemy companions with a 5% damage boost. A range of stuff, I don't want to do in go into that right now. We haven't actually picked up a bow yet. If I had picked up a bow by now, maybe I would have liked it. Oh my god, a light lightning spell. Oh, this, <laughs> this is actually really cool. I know I'm not allowed to say that when I'm doing a... Uh, a sponsored video because you guys should really determine this for yourself but i really like this this is pretty cool um i think i'm gonna go kind of boring and maybe just pick up the cleave because that seems pretty decent it's a 150 percent damage all around me i think maybe just picking up regular buffs is pretty good i also really honestly want to go for the orb of raging fire but it does require me using a staff at the at that point Oh, I really want to go for that, though. Creates a flash of light blinding nearby enemies and leaving them days requires wonder staff. It's a shame I need to have a staff. Your and your companions have 50% increased mana regeneration. I'm going to have to just go for cleave, but shit, that is rough. Okay, um, so now cleave is on number one. And I cost mana. Okay, that's cool. That's good to, you. good to know. Oh, there's a thing here. Hello, a thing. Activate shrine. Oh, shit. This twig was made in the old... Okay, doesn't matter. 10% mana regen, stamina regen, and health regen. 5 health, 5% 5 health regen. Or minus 10 max speed, plus 5 damage, minus 5 stamina, plus 5 magic damage. I have to choose one of these three. Um, I feel like this is probably best overall. I like this, but I may as well just go for 10% health regen, and then I lose 5 health, but I gain a bunch of other stuff. That seems pretty good. All right, cool. Tell you what, kid. Tell you How what, would you kid. like to get revenge on these dogs? Yes. Good choice. As you know, I've got former military experience. I'm just not as young as I once was. But you, you kid, are young and full of energy and hatred for the Oswari Empire. Yes. Just leave it to me. I will show you how to wage war. Yes. Oh, okay. We're going to town, I guess. We're going to town on these fools. I should have been there. I should have protected them. I'm sorry, kid. We'll make those Oswari bastards pay for this, I promise you. The survivors are gathering in a nearby hunting camp, not far from here. We should join them and discuss what we do now. Whenever you're ready. Town Hub Tips. Welcome to your first Town Hub. Here you can find your stash, quest givers, merchants, and postings that you've Bring in, bring in special trainers to open up new talent trees. Check your map to easily identify where they can be found. So we already had like, I don't know, eight talent trees or something. And you can apparently open up even more. That's awesome. 
The in-campaign missions will progress the story, but the mission board will always be available for random missions. When selecting difficulty, keep in mind that anything other than easy, you will lose all items that are not soulbound. Ah, that's what soulbound is. Gotcha. Man, that's rough. Additional trainers, merchants, and other special characters will be available as you progress further into the campaign. Unlock additional trainers of gold. Stash items will persist between characters. Ah, okay, so anything you stash will persist between characters. That's pretty baller. Cool, well, that is... Ah, so you're going to access the stash so I can put shit in. There's already some health potions. I feel like this claim... I mean, I don't know. Is there a limit? 800. You'd fucking shove everything in, wouldn't you? That's pretty crazy. I have almost four grand gold already. Can I smash this barrel? Fuck that barrel, dude. And then there's the board. Except it doesn't have anything right now. Okay, maybe I need to talk to people first. Is Scovis going to chat with me up again? Is it Scovis? Who the fuck is you? Speak. Speak. Oh, as a companion. Oh, so you can... You can get a recruit for 250 gold. He just joins you? That's nothing, man. Good fresh from Arbidum civil defense training. The most grueling two weeks in this peasant's life. What they lack in training, they make up for in bravery. That's great. I mean, I probably would take one, to be honest. Even crap as they might be, probably worth it. Okay, I've got some good news, some not so good news, and some bad news. What do you want to hear first, kid? I always start with the bad news. This town will take a lot of time to bring up to true readiness. If we are to fend off more Oswari attacks, we will need supplies, allies, and good preparations. It's a lot of work, Scovis. We all have to start somewhere. Guess you start now. <laughs> it sounded like he was laughing when he said that. Guess you start now. What's the not so good news? It means you will be doing the heavy lifting, getting most of these supplies. I'm getting on in years, and you can use the work as training. <laughs> Consider it training. Sure. Oh, my back. Oh, my back. <laughs> Sorry. This guy is such a Seems cunt. You're on your own. What's the good news? We should have all we need to get things started again. Wood from the forest, water from the river, and food from both. You never been taught how to survive in the wild? That's... what. That's great news, yeah. You need to get all the resources, but we do have resources available. That's great. Um... Yeah, help me. Help! A long way to go. What's first? How's your hunting skills? I just told you they suck, dude. Alright, so... non sawbot items will be lost on death, enemy health and damage... Normal standard XP gain. Okay, that's probably what I would play on if I were to play. Oh, but you get more rewards. So, okay, so you get uh, common item 200 XP, 50 gold on easy. Random uncommon item 400 XP and 200 gold. To be fair, uncommon is like we, we have so many rare or like um, epics already. Rare, I guess. Random rare item 800 XP, 500 gold. Enemy health and damage increased by times two increased XP gain. Item drop eye level increased. Okay, well, I probably would play on normal. Or medium. I wasn't actually expecting to immediately be thrown into a mission though. I thought I was going to be able to run around town a little bit more. I would have taken that recruit with me for sure. Plus, I was going to end the episode there. And it would have been an oral episode. The video. I'm not sure if I'll do more of this. I kind of do want to. But I've got a feeling that you guys probably won't care so much. Um, but if you do really want to see more of this, please feel free to let me know. If there's enough support for it, I might honestly continue this. Because I actually quite enjoy this. Although I really do wish I could have gone, I could have done some more in town. But anyway, yeah, we'll end it here. Thank you guys for watching this sponsored video of Dungeons of Adira. Uh, as I said, link in the description. Um, that is all there is. Except I gotta slaughter some barrels. You know, you know how it is. Um, anyway, yeah, so that'll be that. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, have a good day and goodbye.